Hey guys, it's G. Welcome to another MLB Perfect Inning Live video, and welcome to today's update information, event guide, etc. I am going based off the Korean forums because I'm going to be busy the rest of the day. Um, maybe you can respond to comments, but not going to have time to make any videos. And unfortunately, the information is not on the English forums yet. We're going to jump right into things here. Um, so this is MLB Perfect Inning Live January Special Event. That's what it's called. Snow Blossoms, or sorry, Snow Flakes. They call it Snow Blossoms here. They'll go on for one more week. Uh, so one more week to get those snowflakes, spend them on boxes, hopefully get some good stuff. You get your standard one mil for your gameplay, season mode 10 times live battle, simulation, 5 times 3 turn battles. Login event, it looks like Thursday, January 11th, you'll get 3 to 20 mil, and then 100 of something. I'm not sure what that something's going to be. Maybe 100 snowflakes. That's what I would honestly guess. Friday, it looks like 50 season complete tickets. Saturday, looks like 3 mil and 30, I believe, uh, capsule coins. Sunday is 5 to 20 mil gold. Monday is a luxury draft and two level 15 experience tickets. Tuesday is 50 season complete tickets. And Wednesday will be three A-grade supplements. They'll have their equipment event continuing. No discounts in the market. Um, yeah. Now for the update information. What are we getting from maintenance well special edition career high players and drafts we'll look at this last there are going to be some really good players you'll want to watch till the end see the stats but i promise you these cards are going to be really good in my opinion if you get any of them you'll be a pretty lucky person and then, thankfully, thank goodness, they're updating the capsule system. They're nearly tripling the amount of capsules that are available in a cycle. From 22,790 to 63,080. They're also cutting down the refresh time from 8 hours to 6 hours. So, over the course of a day, you're going from... About 67,000 capsules to what is going to be like 252,000 capsules. So the overall available capsules has quadrupled. Thankfully, we'll be able to spend those coins. Um, on to the update guide, which is kind of the overview I probably should have gone through first. Database optimization, new event, career high, and the capsule system. It's going to be a five-hour maintenance. Uh, I'm anticipating from 9 p.m. Eastern until 2 a.m. Eastern. That's what it seems like it normally is. Certainly subject to change because that's how Gameville is. So let's jump into the player stats. One thing I want to mention quick, um, I saw it on the Korean forums, but apparently... There's some promo where Google Play is offering partial refunds if you spent money in the last month. I don't know a whole lot about it, but when I saw it, I thought the game might be shutting down. I had sent out to you know people I've worked with that. I I told them all since then. Clearly, things are different. Um, but yeah, just I mentioned it. On to the player stats now, and we're getting. 88 to 92 overall players there's only going to be 42 of them for now at least not every team has one player certainly teams have multiple players um yeah let's take a look you can see all the stats here the card that excites me most that 2017 john carlos stanton it's going to be a 90 overall card, but 101, 101 on lefty and righty contact, 103 power. I'm reading it. So you have position, then you have lefty contact, righty contact, power, eye, 
speed, defense, throwing, and that final column is your overall. Really, all of these cards, I think, are good. That Pablo Sandoval looks like probably the worst card. The Johnny Peralta doesn't look that great. But honestly, I would take both those cards still. And what I'd seen is all the position ratings are going to be B or higher for these players defensively. So, you know, maybe it doesn't look like that great of a card, but you have a guy who had like E or F defense upgraded to S, A, or B. As for the pitchers, getting some starters, some closers, a couple of relievers, and again, all in the 88 to 92 range. That Clayton Kershaw looks amazing, depending on his pitches. The Craig Kimbrell card is probably going to be one of those broken cards with a knuckle curve. I feel like that might become the most expensive card in the game, along with possibly the Kershaw or that Corey Kluber. Both very nice cards. I mean, really, overall, again, this is it. But all these cards, super amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful. If you did, leave a like. If you're new around here, subscribe for more MLB Perfect Inning live content. But anyways, guys, MG, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and as always, peace out.